Welcome back everyone to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. And the last episode I recorded was with Kieran. We did the Kieran quest and I believe I didn't, yeah, I did not hit the record button. So I did not get any of that recorded. In that episode, what happened was we went with Kieran to an O'Driscoll camp and I got a brand new shotgun here. Where is my shotgun? I guess it's on my horse. Let's go ahead and get off. I'm going to show you my new shotgun. Hmm. Here it is. It is a long arm back, long arm back, double barreled shotgun. Look how pretty this is. It's a really pretty gun. I'm really happy. All right. Let's go ahead and get back on our horse. Let's go, boy. And we need to head home. Let's look at the map. Let's head home. And it looks like we need to talk to Dutch. So let's go ahead and do Dutch and do a waypoint there. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and go down through the town. I never even saw this little cemetery over here. Uh, looks like I'm going to jump off a cliff if I go that way. Let's go down this way. Yep. Not going to take you off a cliff. So that must be the church. Let's just slow down. Okay, slow down. Slow down. You know, holding that thing don't make you tough. I know. I don't know why I have my knife out. Take out a flashlight, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's put it away. How's it going? I got real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Got yeah, really bad nerves. Can't work. Can you give me some money? Who is saying that? Okay. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Who's saying that? Is it you? Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Can't we be friends? Okay, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see what we can do with him. Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long time. Long, long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. <laughs> and I hold you a second, mister. Can I hold you Can a second? I? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to decline that. Get lost. I'm sorry, mister. I'll see you again. All right. I guess. That was fun. It looks so funny, me just sitting here holding a little lantern. All right, what's going on over hey, here partner. in this liquor store? Looks like we got a question mark. Oops. Whoa, come on, you can make it. You can walk up the steps. Whoa. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book. Who's your right friend on? there? <sighs> this isn't going very well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. 
Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me, and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. <laughs> but you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. All right, let's take a look at those uh, photos. Okay, it's adding it to my list. Uh, so where are those? Here they are, right here. So let's take a look at this. All right, let's flip it over. You want to give me some breathing room here? All we kinds. got a problem or something? You approach too dangerous for mere biography. That's it. <laughs> Whoa! What the Don't heck? Be dead, I was just reading something. Yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, let me pick up my hat. Jeez. Oh, no, I don't want to pick him up. All right, go ahead and put him over here. I want to pick up my hat. Unarmed assault? What are you talking about? He... He attacked me. Are you kidding me? That was crazy. Watch it now. Uh, he attacked me. That is just absolutely crazy. I gotta be careful going through this town. A crime was reported. I gotta get out of Valentine. That was absolutely insane. Arthur Morgan. Oh my gosh, I am wanted. I cannot go back into Valentine now. That is really sad. Your horse is dirty. I have to go clean my horse. Well, okay, I'm a wanted man. All because I stopped in to have a drink. I wanted to go around the town. Um, I mean, come on. I didn't kill him. I hit, I punched him. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at our map and decide what we want to do. We still have... Um, these episodes out here are still done. We still need to do those. Let's go ahead and do this one. This is collecting debt. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with going to uh, being wanted now in Valentine if I can't go in there. Uh, let's get out this gun, please. It's a little bit easier when you're on horseback. I don't know if I'm wanted in Valentine now and I can't go in there. I don't know how to clear my name. Uh, I did not mean to kill him. Okay, it looks like we're almost there. All 
Alright. Alright, Mr. Horse, stay here. locked. I can't get in there. So let's go ahead and look around. Retrieve the debt. Okay. He's over here. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Hey, do I have to go in there? Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. I don't want to beat him. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to. You are a slippery little bastard. I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. I actually feel really sorry for that family. If he's sick, he's probably the major breadwinner. At least they have a boy to help him out. Beautiful scenery. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, he got blood on him. Arthur, are you gonna be sick? Yep, let's go ahead and take a look at the map now. Where do we want to go? We're almost home. Come on. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. All right, we need to, uh, money lending and other sins. Uh, we need to give this money from that episode. Is this where we put the money? Yeah. Uh, I have got, I have $600. How did, what happened to that money?
Let's talk to Dutch. Because Kieran say, actually saved me, so let's find out what Dutch has to say. He's inside his tent. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. All right, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end our episode right here. It looks like we will pick up right here. I'm not sure what's gonna happen Whoa. when I go to Valentine. I'm wanted in Valentine. So let's go ahead and join me back next time and we'll find uh, out what happens. Are we going for this drink then? <laughs>